people another video from when yakubu is finally at castle i don't buzz for the political zone again <laughs> you know and adi says that there's no sleep for the weekend likewise mama yakubu is on the run now rufai of arise news have finally come out to expose the secret that mama yakubu have been hiding since when they conducted the election rufai exposed everything he shake the table he scatter everywhere and everyone was surprised and amazed with what rufai revealed about mama yakubu to the general public and this is mama yakubu have finally betrayed bola and met Inubu in court but that i would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video come and see what is happening this is a big drama that you don't need to miss so if you can share this video ensure you share let it go to different social media platforms let it go viral and if you can't share just like it give it a thumb up so that youtube will recommend it for us but then stay connected i'm coming back again welcome you back to lunchbox wash tv i don't have bad news for you today what is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lightbox. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Lightbox Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the first time, ensure you click the rest edition button on your video screen so as to be subscribed to this channel and click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video, in few hours time regarding what is happening in the political zone youtube will easily let it know <laughs> we are still on the political talk today a lot of things happened today in the political zone you know since when they conducted the election on the 25th of february i'll be giving you back to back updates regarding how the electoral process take place how peter will be, be trying to claim his mandate in the tribunal when he was providing his evidences in the tribunal and all of that i'll be giving you back to back updates regarding the electoral thing but today's video is regarding my month Yakubu, I next year, man, the orchestrator of everything that happened in course of the election. You know, before the election, I next year, man, promised Nigeria heaven and earth. It's no more in news again. I'm not here to be telling you all those things. How he promised that election will be credible and election will be very free and fair and all of that. And by so doing, he demanded for more than 200 billion naira from Nigeria to conduct a free and fair election for us. That money is your money and it's my money because it's the money that Nigerian government take from us for our taxes. That's what they used to pay our next shaman. Though the election is free and fair indeed, where talks were bully people in different police units all across the federation and where talks are intimidating voters. Voters have been intimidated in favor of APC precisely. There are some polling units that were captured and there are video evidences of where talks were telling people in polling unit that if you are not voting for APC, go back to your house. And yet, policemen are there doing nothing in different polling units. And yet, INEC announced APC candidate. Western Obola met Tinubu as the winner of the 2023 presidential election. And now he's inaugurated as the president of Nigeria now. Yet, the processes of how Obi wants to claim his mandate is still ongoing in the tribunal. Now, what happened today? I next chairman betrays Bola and met Tinubu. It shocked everybody when this happened in court today. So, I would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share it, ensure you share it. Let it go to different social media platforms. Let it go viral. A lot is happening now. And if you can't share it, just like it. Give it a thumb up. Like it so that YouTube will recommend it for us. Tinumbu did not expect this from INEC Shama, you know. And I'm going to be showing you two different videos in this same video. Where Rufai Oseni of Arise News, a news presenter in Arise News, where he opened up a lot of secrets regarding Mamon Yakubu. What Mamon Yakubu did in course of the election. Breeze have blow and foul yash have opened. Rufai Oseni exposed everything. What Mamon did in course of the election. Likewise, I'm going to be showing you how Mamo Yakubu, the same INEC chairman, how he betrayed Bola and met Tinubu in court today. You know, Peter Abin was in court trying to reclaim his mandate. The court asked him to provide 50 evidences, which he provided. But due to the fact that INEC lawyer and Tinubu lawyer were objecting the evidences that Peter Abin lawyers were tendering, so he slowed down the movement, you know. And the court gave Peter Abin's lawyer an actual time which elapses. But when the time elapses, Peter Abin lawyer were only able to provide 13 of the 50 evidences which the court accepted. Likewise, PDP2 provided their own evidences. Out of 100 evidences, they provide 27 evidences. But now, this week is for INEC. INEC to come and defend themselves in the tribunal. But on getting to the court today, the judge asked INEC lawyer, where is your evidence? Who want to stand and speak for you because INEC promised the judge that 
they are going to bring someone that will speak for them as an evidence for them to come and defend the petition against them but on getting to the court today INEC lawyer said that the person that wants to come and defend INEC is nowhere to be found the person disappointed them and mind you if INEC did not provide an evidence Bola Ahmed Tinubu is affected. This affected Tinubu today. Everywhere when signing for APC, the moment their defendant did not step his leg into the law court. At the same time, Hussein Rufayo Farai's news comes out and shake the table. If you should hear what this guy said about Mamo Yakubu, we'll be then just stay connected and watch the video yourself and come back again. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the response of the presidential spokesperson and I laughed. Humor. Pure humor. You rebuff a report, but you don't have empirical analysis to point out the holes in the reports. And you didn't rebuff it. You said it was a badly done job. No, the EU report was a well done job. Kudos to the EU for empirically analyzing what happened in the elections and putting the report out there. A lot of Nigerians want to forget the trauma of the last elections. An election that promised so much but delivered so little. Is it the same elections that people were divided in Lagos? That town crowds were coming out to tell people not to come vote? Is that same elections where people were beaten, blue, black, were hurt? And there was rancor everywhere? That our journalist, Okpe, where are you? Okpe was beaten and punched in the face for going to cover an election? Is this same election that somebody is trying to defend? This same election that we saw what happened in Obiakpo, who became a butt of jokes by the international community. This same election that on the 1st of March, the National Times wrote Nigeria's flawed elections. This same elections that people don't want to come. This same elections that INEC has not been able to tell us. What kind of technical glitch happened? If a glitch happens, there's going to be a technical analysis report of the nature of glitch. The first thing INEC should have done is to bring out that report. But till today, I've not seen anything of such. These same elections, that they were hurt, killings, beatings. This is an election that was that lady's only offense that was gouged in the eyes. Jennifer, if my memory serves me right. Because she went out to vote, but she said nothing was going to stop me, I was going to vote. This is an election where INEC reneged on his promises. And the defense now is that, oh, they didn't say we're going to... Did you see Mr. Fessor Sokoye? When our colleague asked him, what kind of technical glitch he couldn't answer i said the case is in court we'll see what when the defense opens to it opens today isn't it third of july we'll see when the defense opens but you see what we are saying is for us to move a country forward we need the truth we have had an election like this in 2007 but the man that benefited umar musa Aradua, came out to say i know the elections that brought me were fraught with irregularities and he gave us the wage report, which is a template for how elections should be today. We shouldn't deny the fact that the elections were filled with a lot of anomaly. 220 million population projected. Only 25 million people voted. So isn't the voter party shocking to Nigerians? Say, look at the chaos, look at the rancor, look at the pain that Nigerians face, look at the bewilderment that Nigerians faced after the elections. But what did the politicians do? They divided us further. EU, thank you for your very good report. Those that have ears, let them hear. Yes, they, some say it's a poorly done, bad job. I think they too should release their own report. Let's see. As long as they can't pick out the lies in the EU report, let's tell ourselves the truth in this country. Ayo, if we want this country to grow, we must speak the truth to power every time. And that's what people don't like doing because they benefit from sycophancy. Because these same people that were hurt, all of a sudden they are going to look for positions the next minute. Atenu Jaisin is killing a lot of people. Atenu Jaisin. They can't tell the truth because of what they want to benefit and going to eat. But I know Nigerian democracy will live tall. We'll come out of this, we'll keep looking at the future. There'll be possibilities that abound.
But kudos on the EU for that report. Those that should take feedback should take feedbacks. And if we don't want to take feedbacks, the people are making up their minds and their decisions. And that's why you see that voter apathy is on the increase. People are not even coming out to vote again. Last election cycle, more people came out to vote than now. Dr. Abati, I yield the floor. Okay, the EU uh, mission report on the 2023 general election for contest because we almost must, we should always put this in contest. The European Union election observation mission led by Barry Andrews was in Nigeria for about three months before the election and after the election. What is new is that that European Union election observation mission EU, EOM, as it is called, has now released its final report. It is natural for different stakeholders to re react in different ways to the report. Labour Party and, uh, and uh, the People's Democratic Party say that they have been vindicated, that what the EU has done is just to confirm uh, what they've been saying that that election 2023 general election was mad uh, with uh, irregularities okay but the winning party the ruling party the APC now comes around and says look the uh, European Union mission led by Barry Andrews is guilty of uh, bias and that in fact it is based on uh, wrong uh, assumptions what is the argument put forward by the government of the day? Simply that the EU had just 11 analysts and about 40 election observers across over 700,000 polling units across the country. And their argument is that, look, with 40 observers across uh, over 700,000 election uh, polling units, and uh, just 11 analysts in Abuja. In terms of deployment, the federal government of Nigeria, the Tinubu administration argues that the EU could not have had a favorable, you know, objective assessment of the election. However, the thing to note here is that it's very characteristic of the Nigerian government. Anytime any international agency or observer group says anything, about the economy or about Nigerian politics or even a media house international, whether it's the Economist or any other or New York Times, writes anything unfavorable about Nigeria. The default position is to kick and say, no, you are lying, you are biased, you are prejudiced. So that's the contest in this particular regard. So nobody should also be surprised that Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party are both saying, oh, we have been vindicated. However, it was not only the European Union that observed the elections. You had local observers, we had international observers. We had observers from the West African uh, leaders, led by President Jonathan. We had observers from the Commonwealth. We had observers from the AU. We had observers from ECOWAS. I think for Nigerians to get the right perspective in this regard, it is one, to take a comprehensive view of all these observations. Two, it is also to be reminded that this matter is in fact before the presidential election petition tribunal. And that is why people have been saying we hope that the judiciary will do its job as the umpire that is part of the election uh, process. Three, people should also be reminded that the EU spent about three months on this uh, uh, you know, uh, 2023 election process. So the government may say, oh, this is the best election ever as Mr. Lackey argues, but it is also the view of some other Nigerians that this is the most controversial and the most disputed election since return to civilian rule in 2023. Now, I've given this background to define the context. What is the rub of the matter? Now, what is more important is that the European Union made specific recommendations I think it's more important for us as Nigerians, as stakeholders, 
and the relevant institutions to focus on those institutions uh, recommendations what can be taken away from it one the eu is saying we need to pay attention to discriminatory uh, uh, discrimination against women in the in political life that's an important message the EU is saying impunity regarding electoral offences. We have been on this impunity against uh, uh, regarding electoral offences since the US Commission recommendation. We have not addressed it. The EU is saying that we have to ensure real-time publication of results. <laughs> this is an issue on which many Nigerians have, have talked about. The EU is saying Nigeria has to look at ambiguities in the law, in the electoral framework, and resolve those ambiguities. Okay, I've mentioned just about uh, four recommendations, but they made specific six recommendations. But to save time, I've drawn attention to these four recommendations that are in the public domain. So it is not enough to just say, oh, the European Union is biased. There is something in that their report that we need to, to talk, talk about, that we need to worry about, that we need to focus on. And beyond all of this, of course, is that even the blind, the deaf, and the imbecilic in Nigeria who went through that uh, 2023 general election resolved that look the electoral act 2022 has many lacuna therein that we still have to address these are the intelligent points beyond emotionalism beyond partisanship so can we go beyond uh, emotional uh, uh, ejaculation and uh, you know partisanship and look at specific recommendations because indeed the process of defining a proper electoral framework for nigeria is not finished and the new national assembly has to take a second look at electoral act 2022 which many who call themselves politicians and political leaders do not in fact understand even lawyers are confused about many of the provisions that's that's the government of the matter the big issue that the uh, eu report uh, projects from my own perspective and we need to deal with those big uh, ideas driven issues rather than all this partisanship and emotionalism <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. I believe you really see what is going on in the political zone of Nigeria now. You know, since when they conducted the election on the 25th of February, since any chairman know what happened in the course of the election, he have not come out to address Nigerians. This man have not come out to address Nigeria or even go to any television station to talk to Nigerians. Since he believes he's working for Nigeria, he have never stepped out, he have never honored any invitation to different television stations that have been inviting him. He keeps sending Festus Okoye, the National Commissioner of INEC, he keeps sending that one to be representing him in different television stations and interviews that he have been invited to. This same INEC chairman, they issued a subpoena in court when OB and PDP was defending and trying to reclaim their mandate and providing their evidences in the tribunal. They issued a subpoena to any chairman to show in court. This man did not appear in court even when the judge said that he needs to appear in court. He did not showcase in court. A lot of people began to think that maybe this man is above the law in Nigeria. Who knows? Even when television stations like Chinese Television Arise invite him, he will never go. He will send Festus Okoye to go and represent him. And that same Festus Okoye have been observing a tough time in the interviews and question and answer that he have been doing in different television stations. They ask him different questions that he don't have answer to. At times he will say that the issue is already in the tribunal and that he can't dig further into that and all of that he can't speak about it and at times he will say that he's not in position to answer all those questions but they keep asking him questions what happened in the course of the election why is it that they couldn't transmit the presidential result they said it is due to glitch it is this glitch of a thing that they want nigerians to believe that it happened in the course of the election the same glitch did not happen in a uh, gubernatorial election it did not happen in that same election day on senatorial election 
or House of Rep election. It's only happened in the presidential. How come? Now, they are referring to the word glitch. Which glitch are they talking about precisely? They are not precise with the glitch they are talking about. They just come on that they have glitch. Now, glitch occurred. We accept. Now, what led to the glitch in transmission and all of that? What meant the glitch to occur in your server? Let me set an instance for your business. If you give me your phone to charge for you and I collected the phone from you and at the end of the day, you wanted to come and take your phone from me. Maybe you aiming that the phone is fully charged now. So you wanted to come and take it from me. And at the end of the day on getting to me, I disappointed you. I said the phone did not charge. The next question you ask me is what happened? Then I will be able to tell you what happened. Maybe the name passes light or maybe the generator is not working or maybe they check the charger or maybe the charger is not working so those are the glitches that is behind the fact that your phone did not charge i will list it out for you anyone that happened within the range i will let you to know likewise INEC, we want INEC to tell us the kind of glitch that occurred they should explain it they don't owe explanation to it so when they are asking festers or the INEC representative in different television stations he did not have a straight answer to it he said they don't know much about technology that when they drive him down into the technological line he will be lost that's the excuse that is making we have glitch in the presidential election team why can't we see the glitch that we observe what happened what causes the glitch they couldn't mention it is it the machine factor is it the beavers that have issued the, the beavers that has just been purchased from amazon and amazon is defending the fact that their beavers is okay and is working fine it's in good state is it the beavers that i never want to lie on or is it the human factor is it their engineers that misbehave and all of that they should tell engineers we should know where to put the blame on we should know what to do the way forward but i think it's never precise but then what do you guys think drop your opinion in the comment section of this video i next shama betrays bola met in over in court they couldn't provide the person that want to stand for them as an evidence and fight the petition that will be issued against them they did not see the person in court today the person disappeared they didn't appear in court this step is leading to the court what do you think do you really think the game is coming out well for peter Ovi or is coming out well for bola met to know because apc are in total panic now drop your comment section of this i'm going out to that train order for you and you're following me on my social media handles on facebook at lipo watch tv now lipo entertainment make sure you like this video and give us a follow up on this channel guess what guys see you in my next video bye Pastor where they bar, where where? Politics are where they do pass me self. Corrupt leader, how they why you with the for church?